Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Or good evening, I don't know. Good afternoon. My name is Jonathan Cohen. I come from Belgium. This evening, I'd like to start with something very easy to, to look at the camera there. My mom is watching, so hello, mom. I would also like to, uh, you to excuse me because perhaps um, you can listen to a very strong accent. This is my first time speaking in Spanish. I've got a French accent. Um, so if I make mistakes, uh, please focus on the content. This is my first time speaking in Spanish. I'd like to share something quite particular with you. Um, please raise your hands, those who are over 30. Good. Now, this lecture is for you. <laughs> well, for those who are under 30, that's fine as well. So I'd like to tell you something in particular. I'm quite proud to show you this. This is my story. This is what I've learned. And I want to tell you why I think that m many times people make mistakes about the influencer market. As you can see, the guy over there is me. I worked as a consultant for embassies and lobbyists. That's a company. Uh, that's my mother. <laughs> she's very pretty. It's because she's watching, that's why I say it. And on my left is my father. At that time, I had a life, um, well, I had the life my parents wanted me to have. I had a good job, I had a good car, an apartment, everything I wanted, but I wasn't happy. And in fact, uh, I didn't understand why, because in fact, uh, I had everything I wanted, but I realized that what I wanted to do was to travel. But of course, most of the time, you know, uh, people would tell me, well, you, you, you can't do any business from traveling, and, uh, and, and I tried it. And I tried to do something that my mom was scared about. I sold my car, my company. I had a company. I, I also worked as a consultant, so I left my job. And from one day to the other, I said, all right. And I invented a concept, a concept that for many people then, uh, well, was ridiculous. They, they, they said, what, what is that, mom? I'm fine. Um, what I wanted to do was to sell the concept to have a sponsor. You know, I want to take photographs in places in a certain way, and if I get a sponsor, I could travel long. Because, of course, the, the, the problem is not how expensive the trip is. It, the problem is that you don't get any revenues while you earn any no income. And so I created that concept of, Mom, I'm fine. I made presentations just as like this one, it's wonderful, but nobody believed me. And, and, and even when I was asking for um, um, a camera, I can't say the, 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 the brand, uh, they said they were interested, that there was no market, they didn't have any money. And I said, all right, you know what, I'm, I'm leaving, I don't care, I've got my concept. And, uh, and the first photograph that I published on the 1st of April 2016 was this one, Mom, I'm fine. The place is much better. And I said, well, that's fine. It's the first uh, uh, picture. Perhaps if I do it, I can do it differently. <laughs> so I didn't need Mama and Fine here. So I said, all right, if I can do it, and there is something interesting in this, Mama and Fine, there is, it's, it's short, everyone understands it. Uh, but uh, it was quite interesting because it's, it's funny but it could be a little bit uh, riskier. <laughs> and so I started taking photographs um, in different places. I was jumping out of a plane with the Colombian army. Um, I was climbing a mountain here. But uh, that was my passion. That's what I wanted, as, as what I love, to discover new landscape, uh, new cultures, eating differently. Sometimes this was a bit difficult. And in fact, let me give you two pieces, two recommendations. First of all, don't climb mountains. Second, please vaccinate. You know, my my mother was uh, you know was was uh, bit by a monkey, and uh, well, it wasn't very nice. So, I also had other types of adventures that were more and more interesting. Uh, this was my best decision, best decision in my life to travel. Was was really everything I wanted. I've seen so many things. 
uh, not because of mom I'm fine but because of the experience I was able to go through so there were more and more productions in this case uh, it, it's taken me three days to take this 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 um, photograph we hit people who were below and uh, little by little uh, you know I had more and more followers until international press started talking about me ABC cosmopolitan uh, King Kardashian <laughs> well if she said it it's because it's important right and so with all that I said well I had an account with uh, 400,000 people, 400 people, perhaps half of them were from, from were my relatives, and suddenly I had 6,000 followers, so I thought that was interesting. And I said, well, let's do it more professionally. I, I, I was interested in the light and the composition and how to make photographs look better. And so this photograph, remember the small cameras? Um, and they said, well, it's interesting what you're saying. So if you want, we can uh, use uh, all this to sponsor you. And I sent an email saying, well, but I thought you didn't have any money. And then there were other photos which were more professional. This one in India, and this one's my favorite. I took it in the color fest. And I was trying to show a lot of passion in my photos and obtain the best possible ones until I got an impact. I didn't know how many people were following me because it's virtual. And when a guy sent me that photo, I didn't understand, but he had a tooth tattoo on the arm related to my photos. And I realized that what I was doing had an impact, that there was something behind. So I wanted to use this uh, impact to do good things. For example, during the earthquake in Mexico with my Instagram account and in Morocco and in San Martin. And I said, if it's possible that some people come here to see me and others tattoo the I'm fine on the arm, if I have that influence, then I want to do something right and use the account for humanitarian purposes. Of course, after a while, the money was scarce, and the first year was very complicated for me because I sold my car, and I was left with very little money. And so I thought, how can I produce money? And little by little, analyzing some brands and exchanging uh, messages with them, which was very complicated at the beginning. I reached the situation in which I had my open arms, my arms, and people little by little started believing in me and I started doing some campaigns. This one is in Mexico for a brand called Torres. And I thought, now that I've been able to travel and have everything I wanted, now what? This is the moment in which I thought, I want to know more about this market. I want to know how it works, if it's possible to make money there. And uh, I wanted to use everything I had uh, learned during my communication studies. So this is what I want to share with you. This is the influence, influencer marketing market. I started in 2016, and this is global. At the beginning, it was $500 million. Now it's grown a lot. And uh, if you see, the figure for this year is $4 billion. So in such a short time, it has increased eightfold. So it's gigantic. Why? And why am I talking to you about this? These are some important data you should know about the market. Firstly, in 2025, 75% of working population will be millennials, my generation and younger. Secondly, 
40% of the people have bought after having seen the post of an influencer, which is also gigantic. Thirdly, the teenagers during the last five years have been watching TV 40% less. And what is our relationship with uh, social networks? An influencer well, tells stories, and some are more authentic than others. But there is a link between people that feel that they're almost like friends. So when you recommend something to another person, that person listens much more. It means that when celebrities are important for young people, well, they were important for my parents, but now it's teenagers that listen to the recommendations of the influencers much more than traditional celebrities. And then KSI versus Logan Paul, I don't know whether you know this case if you are younger than 30. Logan Paul has millions of followers, and he decided to organize a box match against another influencer, KSI from England. And millions and millions of dollars have been created by this fight they organized. So what is the problem? Why is there so much? There's so much of a difference between those who know who Logan Paul is and those who don't. I talk, I, I say it's a problem of seniority. It's a problem of the seniors. The technology has evolved so much that there is an enormous difference in the way in which we consume the media, we the millennials and younger than the seniors. The problem is that those who are deciding are those who are older. So these are some figures to show you all this in a more tangible, tangible manner. These are the figures from the US, how much time you spend on the radio or reading a newspaper or watching TV and how much money is invested in marketing in each one of these fields. And I took figures from 2013 because Europe and Latin America are more or less at that level right now. It says that we spend 20% of our time on our mobile phones, but now it's much more. And uh, we only invest a certain portion of our budget in mobile phones. But now in the US, the time spent on the mobile phones has increased as well as investments. But that's the problem, is that we only spend 5% of our time reading newspapers or magazines, but we invest 20% of our money in marketing. And I see that many countries had the opportunity of uh, making these studies. And I myself have worked in the US, in Mexico, and in Europe. And I see that sometimes people do not realize the opportunities that are linked to these figures. So let me try to explain. Every revolution goes through three stages. At the beginning, it is ridiculous, that it's dangerous, and then it's logical. And let me give you some examples. From a political point of view, women's suffrage. At the beginning, it was ridiculous, and then people said it was dangerous if the women did not stay at home, and then it became logical. Socially, the abolition of slavery. And it's the same thing. They said it was ridiculous and then dangerous due to economic reasons and then logical. And I could go on and on. The Earth rotating around the sun. Even at a religious level, they said that it was dangerous and that uh, human beings were at the center of the universe. And when I spoke to these brands 
about uh, marketing some years ago, they thought that I was ridiculous. Now I realize that TV and press, and I don't know whether in Uruguay the situation is the same, are losing a share. And we are the ones who are earning money. We are the ones who start being dangerous. And a certain, at a certain point in time, we will become logical. So if one day you want to gain experience and see what happens, these are my tips. The tips that I have developed throughout the years. Firstly, some people find out only one thing, how many followers a person has to see whether uh, she or him wants to work with that person. Well, I could work with Kim Kardashian, but uh, actually it's better to work with a man of my same age. So the most important thing is the DNA. Uh, sometimes I receive proposals of projects, but they did not reflect Mama I'm Fine. I never took a photo of myself saying Mama I'm Fine with a Coke. They didn't understand why, but for me the most important thing is the DNA. The second mistake is to think that they will give me the message I have to give as an influencer. And that's what happens with the press. If you look at the TV and the magazines, etc., they will take the publicity the brand makes and then put it on the magazine. But if I take a Coke, then I destroy my account. Promotional code has tired many people and it doesn't work. So the influencer has to talk with his own language. If there is a DNA that operates, that functions well, then there won't be any problem. And this for each type of company. Maybe you will say, well, I don't know why he's talking about influencer marketing, but this applies to every enterprise in a different manner. So if you want to talk and work with the people who are influencers in marketing, it's worthwhile talking to them. Secondly, you have to verify how many followers you have because there is A real, a real problem otherwise. So there are these two sides that verify whether the people uh, are real influencers and uh, how old they are, etc. So what happens in Uruguay when someone speaks on the radio? Do you know how many people are listening to this person? It's uh, like uh, in Belgium. With my application, I can tell you that 71% of the people who follow me are women and they come from Europe, etc. And when I come up with a brand, the profile has been defined, which the radio can do. Thirdly, the content is everything. And uh, also telling stories. The example I gave you about Coca-Cola is a real story. When I had more followers, Coca-Cola came and said, we are interested in working with you. Would it be possible to have a photo where you are next to the Christmas truck, etc.? And I said, no, even if they have the money, because otherwise it would destroy my message. It's not my values. It's not my message. But I said, well, if you let me use my message one day, maybe we can do something together. During the World Cup, I saw that Coca-Cola was sponsoring the matches, and uh, Belgium and Mexico were playing, so I took this photo when with my mother, whom I invited to come with me to the match. So if I say thanks to Coca-Cola, I was able to invite my mother. The message is completely different. So this with regard to the content. And the other thing is don't, not, do not make a mistake to make just one post as an influencer. I had a campaign with Cristiano Ronaldo, and 
every follower knew that I had made that campaign because they were asked to help me. But almost no one knows what brand uh, I did it with because I worked only once with them. Now, if I work regularly with the same brands, it's like on TV. If you make an ad on TV, the ad has, be, has to be repeated. And the ADNs that are combined have to be the, the same. So this is a campaign with Cristiano Ronaldo. And let me explain how it worked. My mother wanted me to take a photo with him, so I asked my followers to send messages. A certain brand asked, uh, helped me to meet him, and they wanted to do something in the long term, but uh, the brand is shown at the back. It was just once, but it was something for the long term. And I'll give you a concrete example of the day where everything changed for me. Uh, I had not seen my mother for several months, and some airlines came to see me. Uh, half of the things I do is uh, traveling, and they said, we want you to stand in the cockpit by the pilot. And then I said, that's not what I do. Let me give, give me some space, and I'll see what I can do. And this is what I did. De costumbre se ve un poco mejor mi mamá. So this is what I want to tell you. I had a problem. I was unable to go see my mother because it was extremely expensive. So I got in touch with the airline and said, can you trust me to get one million followers and views? And I didn't reach that uh, figure, but of course, it uh, worked very well. And I think that it was the cheapest campaign that uh, Volaris paid throughout their life. So if you build a story, you can do uh, these amazing things. And also very wild. So this is what they allowed me to do. So I said, let's build something together. And now all of the Mexicans who follow me know that I am the image of Volaris. How much did this campaign cost? Well, they put my mom fine on a plane and my salary, which is not that expensive. And we did have everything, production, distribution, and a high level of viewers with uh, 5 million people who now know about uh, these uh, trips. What if they had used professional models, etc.? It would have been so much more expensive. Other tips. The most interesting one, the price. I don't know whether you remember, but in 2008, the Google ad started, and they were sold for cents. If you wanted to publicize in Google, it would cost cents, but not so much now. In 2013, Facebook. In Facebook, the ads only costed some cents, but now no one denies the 
usefulness of publicizing in Facebook, and it's so much more expensive. And now there is a group of people who are very capable and who are focusing on production and distribution, and now they don't need intermediaries. I know that it's complicated, markets are moving and will need very fast. In Belgium or Mexico, countries I know very well, there's a lot of money being invested in this because there is a change going on. You can talk directly to an influencer, you can find it, track it, etc., and he can do everything. You don't need an agency, and the difference in expenses is enormous. To give you an idea, usually a campaign like this one would have cost between 70 and 80,000 euro is a campaign for the atom are you familiar with the atom who who knows it it's the most uh, famous monument in belgium and the highest and it is necessary to promote it so i was asked to make a video for them This is not the whole video. I had to shorten it because I have to end this presentation. Now, obviously, I, I'm interested in making this market develop, which is normal. Otherwise, the players of this market uh, wouldn't develop. But I honestly think that something is going on as it's happened before and people have to realize the possibilities. I think that some countries have understand this, typically the US and in Europe, England. And I want you to realize that the opportunity that exists, it, we may not work together, but I want you to realize that things are changing. And because of the difference of age, you don't know what's happened at the bottom because most of those who are making the decisions are the seniors who don't know about Logan Paul and all of the opportunities that exist. So I want to give you this tip. Firstly, before ending, I would like to thank Marcelo and Denexus for inviting me. And I would also like to say that I believe that the opportunities come only once. Thank you very much. <laughs>